Just like the title of this video says, product research tips and tricks. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about two free tools that you can use that can help you verify if the product that you are about to launch or thinking of launching on Amazon is gonna be most likely successful. All the information in this video, are you ready to get started? Let's get to work. Before I get started, if you're looking for uh, a full video about product research and how you can go about finding a product to sell on Amazon, we have a very popular video on this channel. Uh, I will leave it linked up uh, the top in the cards and in the description box of this video so you can go ahead and check it out. However, in this video, I'm gonna be giving you some very easy tips and tricks and I'm gonna be dissecting exactly why you need to use them, especially that they are 100% for free. Two very important tools, uh, one coming directly from Amazon, the other coming directly from Google, how to use them and why. But before I get started, if this is your first time watching a video on this channel, Hi, my name is Crystal and I'm the founder of Amazon Sellers Society and we help entrepreneurs, brands and businesses sell their products successfully on Amazon, primarily in the Middle East. If you want to know more about our business services and how we can help you start your business on Amazon, check all the information on our website www.assmiddleeast.org. Don't forget to download the free FBA workbook um, linked in the description box down below. Go ahead and uh, use the information in the workbook and make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel and you leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let's get started with tool number one, trick number one, and that's Google Trends. I'm sure you've heard about Google Trends before. If you're doing some research about uh, free tools to verify if products are going to be successful, yes or no. But let's dive a little bit deeper into Google Trends and why it's such an important tool to use. First of all, Google Trends, well, it comes from Google. And Google is primarily the main search engine whenever somebody wants to search for a product. Now, it's true um, a very high percentage of shoppers now bypass search engines and go directly to marketplaces like Amazon. And that's the reason why we love selling on Amazon. But still, Google SEO uh, uh, search uh, engines are primarily very data heavy. And you can use all of the information from Google to verify one very important thing. One very important thing, and that's if the product is in demand and if the product is seasonal, yes or no. Let me show you exactly how Google Trends work. For this example, I'm gonna be using um, a product that I primarily think is 100% seasonal. So these lovely cheese boards and cheese platters, mostly people tend to buy them in winter and primarily in December, especially in the UAE, the fact that we don't really have uh, um, you know, a very cold winter or a very long winter. So these pro this product, yes, you can try to sell it as a fruit platter, and yes, people eat cheese throughout the whole year, but it just happens that people love to use these platters during uh, December, Christmas, New Year's, that time of the year. So um, just to verify what I, what, I, what I believe to know is true, Let's just jump onto Google Trends. It's very easy, trends.google.com. And I've typed in a search term, which is cheese board set, and I'm searching for the UAE. I'm gonna give you a few tips of how to use Google Trends, but first of all, let's look at the information in front of us. It's for the past 12 months, so for the last year. And these numbers here are percentages. So 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. And as you can see, you can only see two spikes. I'm kind of, um, it's odd to me why there's a lot of searches and demand for cheese boards in March. I'm thinking maybe it's Mother's Day. Uh, but in December, like I said, especially around Christmas, between the uh, 
20th and the 26th. This is where um, the demand on Google for cheese board set just explodes. Now, of course, you need to also test out different uh, keywords because a keyword on Amazon isn't necessarily the same thing, meaning people search for products on Google differently than they do on Amazon. So test out some different keywords just to find exactly how people are searching for the product that you intend to sell. That's very important. Second thing is I would suggest that you not only look at the UAE, but you also look worldwide. Reason being, obviously, you always want to try to be at the beginning of a trend. You want to be the one who's the, the seller that starts a trend, that rides the wave, doesn't pick up on the trend at the very end of it. So looking worldwide is very important because again, it's going to show you seasonality and it's going to show you demand as well. And I would also suggest that you don't look for the past 12 months, but rather open it up for the past five years so you can see what exactly is happening to this product. Is there a certain, um, is there some, a pattern that you can see? And as you can see quite clearly, there is a very, very, very clear pattern. Not to say that this product is not good just because it's, you know, more in demand in, uh, in the in Q4, the last three months of the year, and it's not maybe very much in demand during summer. There's nothing wrong with that as long as you have that information and as long as you are, um, um, you know exactly what to expect from this particular product. You know how to be prepared as a seller. There's nothing wrong with selling seasonal products as long as you know that they're seasonal. Uh, the 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 worst thing to do would be to sell a cheese board and think it's something that is gonna, is going to be sold evergreen all the time. So as you can see here, it's quite clear. Now let's, let's, try another, um, uh, let's try another product that I would think is something that is in demand all the time and it's just a smart TV. So as you can see, people do need smart TVs every single day. Um, I don't think they are a seasonal product. So let me go back here and type in smart TV. Let's check worldwide first. And as you can see, the numbers are quite different. Again, you're always going to be going to see a spike in Q4 the last three months of the year. And I hope you're getting ready for Q4 because that's when um, we see across the board a lot of demand and a lot of sales. Uh, but as you can see, the, the product is always in demand. It never for the past five years has always been in demand. Let's look on. Let's look in the marketplace that uh, I intend to sell in, which is UAE. If you're selling somewhere else, then you know, you need to choose the country that you're selling in. And as you can see, the numbers are also quite different than what we saw for the cheese platter. Remember, we're looking at a much smaller country than uh, looking worldwide. So the numbers are going to be different. But as you can see, the demand is also quite high and consistent. Um, yes, it dips up and down a little bit, but it's con there's constant demand. So it's consistent over the past five years. I would say it's actually building up. So that's how you can use Google Trend and how you can explore some products and try to figure out if they're going to be seasonal, yes or no. Now, tool number two actually comes from Amazon. Yes, Amazon do have a tool. Most of you know what it is, and it's the Amazon FBA Revenue Calculator. This is a very, very important tool because, again, we're trying to verify if the product can be successful. And part of being successful is basically making sure the, the product is going to be profitable and make you money. That's why the calculator is actually very important because it can easily help you calculate Amazon fees. Mostly when you start off on Amazon, you think, great, I'm buying a product for, let's say, $3, I'm shipping it for $2, and then I'm selling it for 150 dirhams if you're selling in the UAE. Or let's say you're selling it for $100. Of course, I'm going to be making money, forgetting the fact that there's a lot of fees when you are selling on Amazon, and you need to make sure that you have proper margins and you're able to discount the product if you need to, add a coupon code if you need to, and market and advertise freely in order for the product to be successful. So you need to allocate fees for all of these things, and you can easily use the FBA calculator. 
It's actually quite a simple and easy tool to use. The whole idea of using the fulfillment by Amazon revenue calculator is to verify the, um, um, or estimate, let's say, because it's based on other products. So let's say we're estimating the fees allocated with the product that you want to sell. So let's go back to uh, the cheese boards and let's just choose a product. Um, for this to work, it, it has to be an FBA product. So I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to say, yes, the product that I intend to sell is potentially the same size. Don't just look at the pictures. You can actually look at the sizes here. You can look at the package dimensions. You could look at the item weight. So you want to choose a product that has kind of the same dimensions and the weight as the product that you intend to sell. You just take the ASIN. For those of you that don't know what an ASIN is, it's basically how Amazon identifies your products on their website. And it's an alphanumeric code, meaning it's made of numbers and letters. And that's what an, an ASIN is basically the ID of your, um, of your product on Amazon. Let's go back to the calculator and you just simply add the ASIN right here. Let me, and you just click search and Amazon retrieves the product and finds it. Now, all I need to do is say, tell Amazon how much I intend to sell this product for. So what do I, what is my intention? This product is actually currently, the same product is currently selling for, well, it's on sale and it's currently selling for 69 dirhams. Let's assume we're going to also sell it for 69 dirhams. Um, or let's actually assume that we're going to be selling it for the original price at 99 dirhams. But uh, we want to also make sure that we're able to discount it 30% if we need to. So that's very important. So let's say we're going to sell it for 99, 99 dirhams, uh, shipping it to Amazon. So how much does each unit cost for me to ship it to Amazon? Let's say it's going to cost me 10 dirhams, just as an example. Um, and what is the cost of this product? Again, let's say it's going to cost me... 20 dirhams. This is a, a big product. So it's going to cost me this much. I'm just going to store for the time being. I just want to store one unit. So let's calculate. And as you can see here, it's giving me all of the information. It also additionally, Amazon recently added, um, well, those are not new, but they recently added estimated monthly units sold with self-fulfillment, estimated monthly increase with Amazon fulfillment. So they're trying to push sellers to use FBA using all of these things. But let's just check the fees. That's the reason why we're here. So if we were to sell the product at 99 dirhams with all of my fees, then I'm making 45% in, uh, in net margin, according to Amazon. Net margins, 45%. Net profit is 44.66 dirhams. But that's not really my net because you still have to market the product. You still need to advertise the product. You also need to think if you want to add a coupon, discount the product. So all of these things are additional to the numbers that you see here. So um, let's say, again, here you can know exactly what the fees are based on this product. So some things might change if your product is slightly heavier or slightly smaller. So the fees might change a little bit, but this is uh, like an estimation of what the fees are going to be. So the Amazon referral fee is uh, 10.89 dirhams. The Amazon fulfillment fee for this product is 13 dirhams. On top of how much it's going to cost you to ship the product to, to Amazon, it's going to be in total 23 dirhams. That's exactly how they're doing it. And they're telling you the monthly storage per unit is 0 0.45 dirhams. That's what the monthly storage is. So, um, so assuming that I'm going to be selling it, I'm going to be discounting it exactly like this seller has discounted it down to 69 dirhams because there's, let's say, um, it's January now and people don't want to buy it anymore. So I have to discount it in order to move the stock. Now things look very different. I'm still making profit, but now I'm making 26% profit and still on top of that I potentially might need to advertise and my A cost is not going to be less than 20% if the product isn't ranked, if the product isn't um, doesn't have any reviews. So 
now you have a very different outlook and you have a really di different metrics and data to help you make a better informed decision. So there's never a right and wrong answer on Amazon. And I know a lot of people want to know exactly how much profitability they should have in order to verify if the product is gonna be successful, yes or no. There's no right and wrong answer. As long as you have the information and as long as you are ready and prepared with anything that might happen, meaning, if you know that you need to do a discount or you know that you potentially might to have to reduce the price in the beginning, um, how much you're going to be spending in ads. As long as you know all of that information and you're not surprised, then you can choose the best product to start with. Because assuming you're doing product research, you're at a point where you've got many products and you want to choose the best one or the best two. So now when you have all of this information, it's giving you even more choices for you to choose the product that you think is the best out of a handful of products that you just found uh, that might be successful on Amazon. Use Google Trends, use the Amazon FBA calculator, both free tools, they're gonna give you additional information for you to decide which product is the best. And that's it for this video. Make sure that you share, like, comment, subscribe, do everything. I'll see you in another video with more information. Bye.